were also recently spotted with Tom Hanks. Does that mean that there's like another Toy Story happening? What's happening? Oh. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh. You know, Tom I'm and I uh, really become very close friends from Toy Story 1. He's a very different person than me, and he eats off my plate, which I remember that I come from a family, you don't do that. Because you got a lot of kids, if I ate it, I wanted my, so Tom's in the middle of the first Toy Story, you go, oh, this is just so much fun working with you. And I go, those, those are actually my french fries, that's why they're in this area here. Mm -hmm. He and I differ on so many things. I adore that man's heart and mind. And so yeah. now we're, it, it, it's the most peculiar lunch, as we've been going to lunch since Toy Story 1, you know, twice, two, three times a year, and we're like two older women, because we will sit almost too close to each other at a booth. Yeah. It's just weird, and all of a sudden I go, you know, I, I think I'm gonna get up and sit on that side of the table. And even Reed has asked Tom, says, what do you guys talk about? And I don't think I've ever trusted a human being as much as Tom to listen to me, and oh. vice versa. He, he, we're very different opinions on so many things, but he, yeah. he's gotten me to accept his He's really a wonderful, engaging person, and he's the first guy that listens to me and doesn't judge. And we talk about love that <laughs> open. Yeah, to be open is nice. Yeah, he's a, it's nothing like. I think like, that's the only way you progress and grow and learn about other people's opinions, and maybe yours. Listen, might start just to learn yeah. to listen, go, and, and not jump in. As one one buddy of mine said, "Don't shit on people." Yeah. You know what you should do. You know, they don't throw in your opinions. Just listen and be able to walk away from that and yeah. go, "God, I heard I heard what somebody said." Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.